Hi, welcome to technical report writing. Uh, this is the introductory lecture for the class. Uh, I'm Jeff McAlpine and I'll be guiding you through the precise, linear, no-nonsense world of technical writing. I'm an instructor teaching technical writing, world literature, and composition courses here at Clackamas. I got my master's degree in English at PSU in 2002. Uh, before I went to grad school, I worked as an accountant at a credit union. And during grad school, I worked as a shoe repairman in downtown Portland. Uh, before that, I went to Willamette University and got a bachelor's degree in English. I'm looking forward to hearing about you, so make sure to do the first assignment on the discussion board and try to post something by midweek and no later than the end of the first week. This will help us get to know one another a bit, which is generally more difficult in the online class. Uh, be sure to include a personal interest as well. Um, for example, I run ultra marathons. I uh, recently completed the Western States 100 miler, and I also like to travel and backpack with my family. Uh, I actually spent most of the summer in France this summer. Um, so how did writing start? You might think this is a strange way to start a lecture about technical writing, but I think it's important for you to know. I usually have the class form into groups and record the possessions they have as a group without using words. You might want to try that yourself behind the comfort of your own computer. How many pencils do you own, for example? How many pairs of pants, shirts, cars, cows, bushels of wheat? That was essentially the problem the first writers had in Samaria. They began to have a surplus of goods and some workers had to record what the shepherds, kings, or priests had, maybe to prevent theft or to ensure a surplus for the coming winter. They were solving an economic problem, not a problem of how to express themselves. See the link about the origins of writing and uh, pause the video and read that and then come back and watch the rest of the video. So you see, writing began as technical writing. I um, hope you found that interesting reading about the, the origins of writing. We'll be using computers and maybe recording information about microprocessors or ceramic engines, but we're engaged in an ancient task that is important for upholding civilization. Aside from the fact that good writing will help you in your job, you'll also be learning a craft as old as the development of the wheel and the sail, and even beer for that matter. What the heck is technical writing anyway? Technical writing is a modern name for the type of writing that the Sumerian scribes first performed. That's writing with an economic motive and with an audience that shares that same motive. When we practice technical writing, keep in mind that it encompasses business writing too. The technical aspect of it comes from the technical nature of the job or economic motive that you and the audience have when you write it. Good professional writing and good technical writing will enter into your communications in every way. So if we have this economic motive, what is not technical writing? I would say that literature and poetry with an expressive artistic motive does not have to be technical. It may have an economic motive, a writer might want to sell books, but the reader does not share that motive. In technical writing, a reader will have a similar goal to that of the writer. A reader of a manual hopes to learn how to do a job better. A reader of a report wants to learn what the writer found out to further the goals of the business. Thus, you must con consider the audience in technical writing. To this end, you do not write only as yourself. You always write as a representative of an organization. You don't necessarily sign your work. You write it as a member of an organization for other members of yours or other organizations. It is not personal. This means that you have a few goals in your writing. Your writing should be specific, clear, active, and factual. We'll practice writing with this kind of style throughout the course. Of course, technical writing is not purely objective. Persuasion enters into it, and we'll talk about that next week. So uh, go ahead and uh, familiarize yourself with the course by navigating around uh, and do that first discussion post and use the open student forum if you have any questions about the course that I can answer and uh, I'll check that out right away. All right, I look forward to working with you all this term.